I'm Jenna Sutherland and I'm at the Grand National Roaster Show in Pomona, California. And this is my Superbird. This car I bought brand new in 19, May of 1970. It was my daily driver for at least 20 years. Um, I just finished having it restored. It is a 426 Hemi automatic transmission with every option that could come on the car. I tried to buy this car in Ukiah, California, but our dealer there wouldn't get me one. So I had to look around and find, I finally found one at H.L. Harris in Pittsburgh, California. Drove down to find it, found that it was a beautiful limelight green, which excited me. It did have the 426 Hemi in it. It wasn't automatic, it was a bucket seat, it was everything I was looking for. So we bought the car. Then I found out in later years that it is a fully optioned car, uh, that I, and I drove it every day. If, every day to the point that I have 81,000 miles on this car. I towed a boat with it, I towed a horse trailer with it, I towed dune buggies with it, and race cars with it. Uh, my kids got to drive it to school, so it, until I restored it this last time, it was basically still a daily driver. The difference between a Superbird and a Roadrunner is Superbird has a 1970 Coronet front end and an aluminum nose piece that houses the headlights. And the headlights do come up, and that, but that part of the difference uh, of, the, of it. The, the, the hood is also a 1970 Coronet hood stretched out with a piece added to it to make it fit over the front of the car. Um, the scoops on it, everybody thinks that they're for tire clearance or to pull heat out, but actually they are to run the air over the top of the car when, at a higher speeds. So if you go to the back of the car, you'll notice that it has a very high wing and it is braced heavily on the inside down to the, down to the frame of the car. You can see the black piece there going down to the green, which is hooked, hooked to the bottom of the car. Which, this is an aluminum wing. It is very stable. It is high, supposedly because of the trunk will open, but most of it was because of an intimidation factor of the high wing to hold the car down. It does hold the car down. It does put a lot of pressure, and you can feel it at any speed, about 70 actually put the push the car to the ground. So now if you go to the back window you'll notice that it is smaller than main, most roadrunners and if you look at the vinyl top you can see where the ridge is because they did not finish it. That's why all Superbirds have to have a vinyl top because they are not finished nicely underneath there. There was no way they could have uh, in the short period of time that they had to put them together. All Superbirds that were Hemi engine cars had to have the steel wheels. So that's why this has steel wheels on it and not beautiful mags. Uh, inside the, this particular car, I have a tape deck, which most cars did not have a tape deck. This car also has what they call a six-way position seat, so you can bring the seat up and forward more than you can most cars. Also has a rim blow steering wheel, which is, I've only heard of one other Superbird that has one. I have had this car up to high speeds. I did get it up on highway, on I-5 to 150 miles an hour. And when this car goes to 150 miles an hour, you can feel the whole car sit on the ground. You have very positive steering at high speeds with this car. It's really a lot of fun at high speeds. 